Hello, digital friends. Welcome to Zoo Adventures today. It's so happy to be here with you. Um, I don't know what day it is, but today is beautiful. Yeah. We're taping an episode of Zoo Adventures. Like we have a really cool opportunity. We're going to the elephant barn to show you the elephant barn behind the scenes and how important it is to the care and wellness of the elephants. Steve's in front of the camera today. He's part of your Zoo Adventures team. Leslie's behind the camera. Good morning. So we're, this is going to be really fun. Oh, by the way, it's not these elephants. Right. You these, sure? No, nah, yeah, I I'm not. That's the, that's I, the size of elephants, wait, you right? can't touch, you can't, you guys supposed to touch elephants? I always thought that elephants were, okay. No, these are pocket, po these are pocket uh, pet okay. elephants. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so even though we're taping this now, it is a taped episode, um, Leslie and I had to get to the zoo very early today mm -hmm. to do this. And it's really cool because you're going to be seeing the barn just as it is after the elephant slept there overnight. So there's some really neat things to share with you. We're going to go catch up with Keeper Jordan straight away. Watch. All right, guys, so here we are down at the barn. So cool. <laughs> this is Rafiki. Rafiki okay. Yeah, so she is actually our matriarch of our elephant herd. And that means that she's like the boss lady of everybody. Matriarch. Okay, she's the boss. Yeah. Oh, look, you there. Yeah, so this is Deb, and um, she's one of our senior elephant trainers. We also have Jessica over here as well. Hi, Deb. Hi, Jessica. And, uh, basically, they are going to be working with Rafiki for her skin care right now. So what is the, wait, this? Wait, this I can. What is this? <laughs> so up Why? here, so <laughs> Jessica's just kind of scrubbing her back a little bit. These guys, they put a lot of dirt and mud on their skin okay, yeah, to sure. really help them cool off when it's too hot outside. It's really great for, um, you know, protecting them from bugs and from the sun as right. well. And so... With Rafiki in general, we actually have seen a little bit of kind of dead skin build up on her back. Oh, wow. And so okay. That's really what is kind of the cause for all this kind of extra scrubbing that's going on right now. That's what Jessica's kind of doing. She's just up there scrubbing off any of the extra skin that might come off. Wow. And um, Deb is over here. She has a really important job right now. She's making sure that Rafiki is really calm and comfortable this whole time. And, she, and Rafiki looks amazing. Absolutely. Like absolutely. She's like, okay, this is cool. I'm <laughs> yeah, okay with this. This is kind of like a spa treatment for her. Gotcha. Uh, so you'll see. And these two have to work together, obviously. They do. They do. Yeah, so there's a lot of communication. Yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm pointing out. You guys can't see me pointing, digital <laughs> friends. So um, the keepers have to work together to get this done. Yep. And so um, Jessica and Dad have done this um, together many times before. So they are cueing off of what they're saying to each other, but okay. also body language, that kind of thing. Um, but Deb is really paying attention to Rafiki, I seeing see how that, calm yeah. she is. You can see she's got her hand on her trunk. And that's really just to make sure that Rafiki's um, really comfortable in this whole situation because mm -hmm. this is what positive reinforcement training is. It's that gotcha. it is voluntary for our elephants to participate in this. So Rafiki, she could walk away at any point if she wanted to, but mm -hmm. Deb is over here hanging out with her. They have a really strong relationship. That looks pretty and, obvious, um, yeah. she, of course, is going to get some kind of reinforcement afterwards. I so see she's some got of some sweet potatoes and carrots. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, sometimes it might be um, more sweet things like apples, bananas, okay. honeydew. It just kind of depends on the day and what we have available for these guys. And what's going on in the back? So over here, Jessica is applying some fractionated coconut oil. So this some is basically coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's really good for your skin. Uh, so we use it on our elephants too. Some of the rhinos get it as well really? every now and then. So it's just a really great natural moisturizer for these guys. And how does the barn help with that? Because we know we're talking about the elephant barn. It's such an amazing space in general. So how does that help with the care in this situation for these two, for, for Rafiki? Yeah, so all these ballers that we have set up here, these are allowing us to get really close to the elephants, um, but obviously still maintaining, again, the elephants have their own space and the keepers have I their see. own okay. space. So, like I said, Rafiki, she could walk away if she wanted to, but mm -hmm. oh, she just put her ear through She there. did, yep, exactly. <laughs> so, That's um, awesome. Yeah, they have a lot of different trained behaviors where the elephants will present different body parts in various ways. Um, but really, again, these ballers make it so that the elephants have their own space, so okay. that they're not being forced to do anything. So it's kind of they have choice it's to control. Like, this, is, exactly. this is my, my room, mm -hmm. this is your room. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. So it is a lot of respect, and again, it's a lot of trust as well. So it sure is. we spend a lot of time getting to know these guys on a personal level. Um, they get to know us as new keepers come in, that kind of thing. So gotcha. um, it really is based on relationship Absolutely. here. Absolutely. That is so neat. 
And I love it when Jessica's replying that it's just it's just what it is. And, yep. and, and, and you watch Rafiki. Rafiki is like, okay, this mm -hmm. is this is okay. I'm, exactly. I'm okay with this. And that's exactly. got to be because of the relationship between the two mm -hmm. or the three of them in this instance. Yep, definitely. And so. this is something that you know we practice this on a regular basis. You know, if this was brand new, we might just do a little bit at a time. You know, just kind of get her used okay. to it. What we call approximate it. And um, as soon as you know we see those signs that she's comfortable, we'll move on a little bit further Ooh, the next time. Yeah. See, that, that's got to be a little scary right there. <laughs> you know, you have that wand coming towards the eye. Yeah, exactly. And see that exactly. there was no reflection. There was nothing there. Mm -hmm, Would mm -hmm. you want to have that big wand coming at your eye, Leslie? No, thank you. No, thank you, right? <laughs> but if I had trainers that worked with me on it, okay. We can be okay with it, right? We can work on that too. We can work on that. Yeah. What would your reinforcer be? Oh my be? gosh. Um, oh, that's hard. Uh, sushi. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> sushi. That's, that's awesome. So that's neat. So my guess is, I'm going to make an assumption here. Sure. As we're going to do the other side now. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be lopsided, you know. Right. You don't want oil on the, the, the cooking yeah. oil on one side, not on the other. And Rafiki obviously has been trained to mm -hmm. move within this space. Mm -hmm. Yep, so and, this whole time, oh yeah, no, I was going to say, this whole time, Deb is giving her different cues, basically she's asking Rafiki to do these different behaviors that she's been trained to do, and if she wants to do them, great, she gets a reward, if gotcha. not, we'll just do something different. And we do want to stress, 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 guys, that we're at the Elephant Barn. This is just a tiny, tiny bit of where they, where their, where their, where their home space is. This is in no way where they live or spend their time. Mm -hmm. This is, their, this is where they're doing some training, doing some animal welfare, doing some care that you see, applying, you saw it earlier, maybe applying that coconut oil. So the elephants will go from this space, this holding space, while they do the training and stuff, out onto a magnificent seven acre land, spot of land, guys. So we do get that question sometimes, it's like, where, what, you know, is this really? No, this is only a tiny yeah, bit and yeah. only for this type of care. Mm -hmm. Really, and so I mean, honestly, during the summertime, these guys are only down here at the barn a couple of hours a day. So it's usually just in the morning time from about eh, eight to ten, maybe. Um, and that way, again, we can go out to the habitats, we can clean them from the overnight, and then the elephants so they safe, get to come down right? here. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> and uh, but then they get to come down here and they get to spend time with our trainers. They get yep. these different training sessions. So whether it's you know physical care or whether it's mental stimulation, they get a lot of. Um, various experiences down here. Uh, I think that's so cool. And, it's, and that is also enriching to the elephants too. Mm -hmm. Let's go from one, it's like us going from one room to another, from one house to another house. Absolutely. Going absolutely. to visit somebody. Yeah. So it's the exact same idea. Well, this is so cool. Yeah, and something else that's, that's really cool about this barn too is that it's like a big puzzle. There are a lot of different hydraulic doors throughout here, so we can actually right. change the space even more. So we could have multiple elephants together. We could have them in different stalls together. We can um, separate them through various stalls as well. So Neat. we have a lot of different options down here. And you said you're going to be able to take us on a tour once all the training. Yeah, once this definitely. Because these guys are getting ready to go be sent yes, for these, yes. yeah, these elephants. They're going to go outside. These guys. Yeah, yeah, we're so happy. The weather's nice and it sunny is today. But today been... is what? Today's February. So we're taping this episode. It should make sure we, <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. That. We are taping this episode because it's, you know, we're in a place where the reception isn't really good. We want to be able to do a lot of different things with you today. Today, digital friends so we are taping this so it's february 23rd when we're taping it and it's going to be in the 60s today we're so excited yeah it's so nice it's a little bit of foot care with nakanda one of our female elephants here at the zoo Foot care must be pretty important on an animal that weighs yes. as, big as, as big as these guys Absolutely. Are. So actually a lot of our care is really focused around their feet. Um, we clean off the bottoms of their feet about once a week just to make sure there's no uh, like big rocks stuck in there or any gotcha. kind of, you know, injuries, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, with these guys, they do, their nails will get cracks every now and then. Sure. And so especially in the wintertime, you know, our skin gets really dry. It these does. guys get dry too sometimes. So. Um, what we're doing right now is just kind of cleaning out some of those little cracks. That's the spray, and then, the first mm -hmm, spray with Exactly, Shamba. yeah. It's just a, a cleaning solution. And then after that, Deb's going to be applying um, like a nail conditioner. So okay. just to really kind of help strengthen and reinforce the nail growth. And again, the barn mm -hmm. is enabling you to do that. You, one, you're, one, you're secure. You're mm -hmm. safe in the barn, mm -hmm. animals and keepers. Mm -hmm. Two, you're out of the weather. Mm -hmm. So you're able Absolutely. to do this kind of thing <laughs> as well, which is awesome. And then three, I mean, you have all these openings in some of the... Um, I just wanted some of the walls. That was so <laughs> Yeah, neat. yeah. So it's really kind of the barn is set up so that, you know, we can 
have safe areas to work with these guys because, you know, at any point they could get spooked. They could, you know, something, you know, could startle them in any way. And we don't want to be, you know, in direction of whatever their reaction is going to be. Because these guys, again, they are very, very... Um, heavy animals, you know, I mean, these guys right. weigh between 8,000 and 14,000 pounds, depending on the, the word, individual. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, that does make them dangerous just because they are so <laughs> heavy. So yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. You know, we're, we're pretty They're fragile powerful. compared to them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Foot care in elephants. Who knew? Exactly. <laughs> we are inside the elephant barn. I scratch at my back. I'm not really scratching, but, you know, kind of. And Keeper Jordan is here with us. He's going to take us on a little tour of inside the elephant barn to give you guys an idea of what happens down here. Um, and we saw the, some of the training that goes on already, but what's in the barn itself? And again, this is just where they're staying for little bits. There's nothing major here. So Keeper Jordan's over here. I'm going to come over here and meet with uh, Jordan. Oh, you Thanks. Don't step on the compost gold. The what? The compost gold. That's that's pure compost amazingness. Do not touch it. That's right. No, you're absolutely right. Thank you so much for catching me. Yes. I would have been I'd have been taking something with me in my I shoes. Know. It needs so, as much as we can into the compost. Let's come over here with Keeper Jordan. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how are you? Okay. So one thing I do want to say is that when we opened this episode just now, mm -hmm. Leslie was shooting a picture of a heart. Yeah on, a, yeah, on a wall. <laughs> Why is there hearts over there and highs over there and a really pretty flower and sun and somebody's incredible um, it's abstract. Abstract. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see a snake. I see um, water. Do you see water? Yeah. Uh, a sea snake. There we go. A sea oh. snake. Nice. Is that like the same as an eel, or is that different? Uh, different! Well, close enough. We'll call it the same, the same but different. In that world. Yeah, right? <laughs> so why are there drawings on the wall? So, to start. down here at the barn, we want to make sure that our elephants have a lot of stimulation. So sure. this is obviously a different environment from being out on the habitat, you yep. know, where they have obviously more space, and they've got, you know, natural elements to interact with. They've got, you know, all the different elements sure. out there. So in the barn, we try to give them something different every single time that they're down here. I so see. whether it's nice big, you know, visual effects on the walls, or maybe it's scents and extracts that are kind of scattered. Oh, you throughout. do that too. Here. We do, yeah. So these guys will we have um, certain extracts and like spices and herbs that will kind of spread around for these guys to smell. They have a really great sense of smell, Neat. so it's good to just you know stimulation. Elephants have a great sense of smell. They do, they do. Those big trunks, you know, they're good for something. I thought, yeah, I thought it was like a <laughs> snorkel. I've seen that being it used is. when they're swimming, but absolutely I have a sense of smell. Oh. They're very, very much multifunction. So they have a great sense of smell, much stronger it. than ours. That's cool. Um, but we get them lots of like feeding devices too, to where we're actually slowing down and they're kind of having to, you know, work in a different way to get to their food, just I like see. they would in the wild. You or know, the they would be encountering things. different obstacles, that kind of thing. Okay. So we try to, you know, do that here as well. You even do the floor. I mean, we're on a, one type of floor here. Mm -hmm. This is a concrete floor. It's easier to clean. Mm -hmm. They're on it for minutes at a time and you provided sand over here there's a different substrate yes yes so we do want to try to keep it as natural as possible for these guys so we've added sand this to this cool. barn so that they can lay on it it's a nice softer substrate for them they can throw it on themselves because like we said with their skin care they'll throw mud and dirt on themselves same thing down here at the barn as well so sometimes they'll throw hay sometimes they'll throw the sand they'll throw, throw water on themselves if they get you know too warm that kind of thing nice. so the sand is a great addition in here this is so neat and it's neat that it's, it looks like it can be it can be opened up, it can be divided Absolutely. For, the, for the individual mm -hmm. animals and for the needs that you guys have in the moment mm -hmm. for that animal's care. Mm -hmm. You're able to make this entire, and look at, I mean, I'm, you guys know I'm not a small guy <laughs> and this space is huge. It is. Yeah, and this is really the, the most like closed up that it ever really is because all of these walls they have different doors on them. I do. For the most part, they're usually all open up overnight so, so that we all of our girls more. can be together. The boys still sleep, sleep separately from the girls, which is normal though. Exactly. Which is normal. Exactly. Remember, we've mm -hmm. talked about how you have to understand. Remember the work these guys have to do. They've got to know their individuals and the species. How do they live? What kind of social dynamics are they in? So when you hear Keeper Jordan say the, el the, the, the boys are outside by themselves, that's normal. That's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yes. We yes. want to make the sure that we're reminding that them. Way for sure. And then the girls, 
<laughs> and the girls are more of the herd. Yes, animals. exactly. And it's really so, yeah, cool neat. too because we actually have cameras in here overnight, so oh, wow. we can actually go back There's and kind of watch the here. footage. Yep. And so we see that the girls they do they sleep together. They'll um, really? kind of all like lay in different areas, especially like right in the center area of the barn. They'll kind no of take kidding. turns when they're sleeping, just like they would in the wild. These guys oh, love to see they look out for cool. each other, so it's very much a Absolutely. very strong well herd said. dynamic. I love that they look out for each other. That's, that's well said. That's for sure. <laughs> So there's some really neat stuff in this entire space. You saw me scratching my back on this thing. I over here, come over here real quick. That is so cool. Look how big that is. You guys know I'm 6'3". So this is like a, a street sweeper brush. So we're a very, street very, sweeper very brush. Yeah. So um, we try to use, you know, whatever materials are available out there in the world that can be utilized for elephants. These guys are very strong animals, yeah. like we said. So their enrichment, their different devices, they have to be very strong for them. So this is a great addition for these guys. They can rub up against it. They can, you know, play with it if they want to, that kind of thing. Nice, that is so cool. Well, what else does the barn have to show, have, have to Let's see. share? So um, the floors are also heated. We didn't really talk this about that. This is heated? It is heated, yeah. So in the winter time, the elephants um, spend more nights down here. In the summertime, they're out on the habitat more often than not. Do you feel it? I don't feel it. I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. It, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it so the floor them, is heated? It is, yep. So that keeps the elephants warm, um, you know, from just the floor up. Um, we actually, kind wow. of a weird, kind of cool special edition that we actually have in this barn is we have... Oh, wait, a weird, cool <laughs> special edition. I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is I Kiefer Jordan's talk. Cool it is. It is. So. Exactly. <laughs> what's, what's weird and cool in here? So we actually have an elephant shower in here. So you do? this um, little silver contraption right up here. Let's get her under it. We'll turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. actually a shower that has a sensor over on this wall over here. There's like a tiny oh, little Oh, I see it. Play. The elephants can actually reach up and they can touch that sensor and that'll actually turn on the water no if they kidding. want to. Yeah. We don't have it turned on in the wintertime just because, you know, That's we don't want idea. wet elephants when it's cold. Good but, um, you know, in the summertime, if they wanted to kind of, you know, take a little shower, kind of cool off while they're down here, they could if they wanted to. It's Lesson. really high up. Yeah. Do you see how tall it is? <laughs> I can I can barely even put you and the shower in the same frame. And I can't turn it on. No, no. <laughs> if you were an elephant, you could. Yeah, elephant only. Yeah. <laughs> it's an exclusive spot. It's an exclusive spot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So that's cool. And they will use that from time to time in the summertime? Occasionally, kind of yeah. 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 We usually see some... them. We've got really big drinkers where they'll oh. um, just kind of drink, they'll scoop up some water into their trunks and they'll just spray it on themselves. You know, occasionally they'll spray the keepers every now and then, but uh, <laughs> it is more for the elephants. So have the keepers trained that behavior on the 105 degree day? Right, that would be good. <laughs> that is so neat. And it's so cool to be in this space. And again, it's for you guys, digital guests. Just so you can show that's another level of care and wellness. There was so much planning mm -hmm. put into this space. Absolutely. Because we have amazing space outdoors. Mm -hmm. We have amazing outdoor space for the elephants. And we're going to show you that in a little bit too. But to think, okay, that we have different levels of care we need to be able to provide. Mm -hmm. And this barn, which is so cool, enables you guys to do that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. from heated floors to showers. Mm -hmm. Um, to being able to open the doors, to be able to provide social space for your females, mm -hmm. to, you know, space that the males can be solitary. Mm -hmm. We saw the training that goes on. You talk about the food. I'm looking around and there's amazing different ways that you can provide food. Yes. There's cool enrichment opportunities mm -hmm. all within the barn. Mm -hmm. So the same level of care that goes outside that you guys are able to do out there mm -hmm. is brought inside as well. Absolutely. Really Here, cool. You know, it's, these guys, they live a 24 hour life, you know, cycle well here. So that's really well important said. that when the keepers are not here, the elephants are still very well taken care of. And that's yeah. what the barn allows us to do. Yeah, and in a very, again, safe and secure mm -hmm. manner. Mm -hmm. With the cameras, you've got their staff here at night. Mm -hmm. People are watching and paying attention. And I'm looking around because I'm looking at the door saying, you know, somebody might look at that and go, well, this is all the space they get. No, that no. door can be open. That door can be open. <laughs> that door can be open. That door can be open. <laughs> so all of this is now opened up. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right. This isn't the same as outdoors. But remember, this is only for certain times of the year. And even then, certain times of the day within those times of the year. Yep. <laughs> so it's incredible to be able to give that level of care year round. Mm -hmm. And I love what you said, 24-7, because they do deserve that care 24-7. Mm -hmm. 
this is so much, this is crazy cool. I gotta make sure I'm not stepping on it. I love what you said earlier, Leslie, the compost gold. Yes. Make sure we're not standing on that. All of this will go there. Oh, literally all of yeah. it will go there. And there's a bunch in here. We're not showing you all of it. <laughs> hey, Jordan, one of the questions that we get all the time is that is do elephants lay down? And I'm assuming you could help us with that? Yeah, absolutely. So these guys actually do lay down oh, for do. a short period of time overnight. Okay. Um, they do lay down. Yeah, so they they will lay down to sleep. They will also sleep standing up, especially so okay. if you're, they're out on the habitat and you see them and they're just standing really still. Their trunks are kind of really relaxed on the ground. They're usually taking a nap at really? that point. <laughs> down here at the barn, though, they do lay down. And you actually see in the sand right here, already laid down last night. Oh, no kidding really you look. can see yeah so this mark over here is actually where his trunk was kind of curled up so he's wow. been laying, facing that way that's his trunk yeah that's his trunk right there and then right over here yeah is kind of these little lines in the sand that's actually uh the, his skin so it's like an imprint Those of waves his skin yeah his exactly skin? Mm -hmm. so evidence that he was laying down. Yep, and we actually, we definitely kind of pay attention for that every day to see, you know, where are they choosing to lay? Because they have access to different areas. Mm -hmm. you know, are they spending more time in one area versus another area? Wow. So, you know, obviously we can look at it on the cameras overnight, mm -hmm. but it's also really you cool just to right. kind of be able to walk in and be like, oh yeah, this is where I already slept last night. It. How cool is that? <laughs> Elephants laying down right here, and there's evidence of it. Neat. What else you got to share with us, Jordan? Uh, let's see. So we do have um, we have a big elephant scale. If you guys want to see yeah, that, elephant yeah, scale. We're actually gonna um, when we shift Cesar out to the habitat, he's actually gonna walk over that scale so we can get a weight on him before he goes out today. Let's do that. That's cool. <laughs> sure. Let's check that out. Yeah. So um, Cesar actually had a really unique surgery. Um, gosh, I think it's been like at least ten years now. Wow. Um, and basically, uh, he developed cataracts in both of his eyes, mm -hmm. and so they went in to remove the cataracts, and um, they actually tried to give him elephant contact lenses. Um, really? However, that trunk that you see is very, very dexterous, and they're point. very curious animals, and he just pulled them right out. No kidding. Um, so the contact lenses did not work. However, um, it did help him to have a little bit better vision. Um, However, his okay. cornea is actually a little bit more vulnerable to um, damage. And so okay. occasionally, especially kind of like with seasonal changes, um, like when pollen's really high, if he's kind of rubbing his eyes a little bit, mm -hmm. occasionally he'll get a little bit of um, like an ulcer to his cornea. And uh, so- Like a little scraper. Yeah, or exactly. Something. And so our veterinarians have been really great. We have actually worked with an ophthalmologist that they've brought in oh, wow. um, from outside of our zoo to really pay attention to his eye care. and so. Um, we do give him um, pretty regular drops just to um, make sure that he's nice and comfortable and make sure that his eyes are healed. And this is kind of the same thing as Rafiki and Jessica's put in there. Mm -hmm, exactly, yep. So Rafiki and Cesar um, get this coconut oil the most out of everybody just because of their individual um, skin health. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's just a really great moisturizer for these guys. Sure. It really helps to keep their skin nice and healthy this time of year. And this is Cesar. He's a large male. You can see those massive tusks. Yes. Uh huh. Um, and he's about how old? He's so an old fellow. He is an old man. Um, he is actually he's 48 years uh, old, 48. and he is currently the oldest male African elephant in North America. Okay. So, <laughs> um, congratulations to you and your team. Yes, exactly. That is a huge accomplishment um, for you know him to be so long lived. Um, he's actually been here since he was four years old. So wow. um, he's one of our longest yeah, uh, permanent residents here at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Good deal. And look at that. He's just like, oh, this is, oh, this is fine. Yep. <laughs> I trust the keeper. I trust Jessica. I trust them. You've brought us to where this is the scale? Yeah, yeah. So it is really important to, um, you know, monitor the elephant's weight. Um, we actually weigh them usually about once a month, unless okay. there's, you know, some kind of medical issue going on. But that's really because, you know, these guys, they weigh, you know, we're talking 11,000 pounds for Cesar. And so, wow. you know, that can easily fluctuate a couple hundred pounds here and there. <laughs> so, because, you know, right? exactly. Yeah, you know, these guys, they take a poop and they, you know, might lose 100 pounds. Um, but with, uh, with our elephants, you know, weighing them about, about once a month is pretty routine for these nice. guys. And here, Deb, steady, hold there, exactly, stay where you are. Exactly, So she's giving him lots of cues, especially because Cesar's eyesight is limited. So oh she's really making sure that, um, you know, she's setting him up for success and kind of directing him and guiding him as to where he needs to stand. Nice. Good job.
and we're usually, I have to say that we're usually saying, hey, thanks keepers for helping and we're glad you're here. And yeah. realizing that these guys are being so focused. Will yeah. you please make sure you pass along thanks to Deb <laughs> and everybody just absolutely. for us? That'd be great. And then this is a shoot, where is he going right now? So he's actually going out to Habitat now. And oh, okay. uh, if you want, we can actually walk over there and see him walk out onto the Habitat. Gotcha, and look at these. Hey, yeah. Leslie. Do you see, look at this contraption for opening and closing doors. This are all hydraulic? Yeah, so this is all hydraulics. Um, so uh, we've got a pretty great system. We have control panels all throughout the, the barn area so that you know we can control different sets of doors from different angles. And again, it's just like kind of a big puzzle for us sometimes for setting <laughs> up, you know, which way the elephants are gonna move and yeah. where they're going. And she knows which the wind handle is. Absolutely, yep. So we have a lot of training um, for any new keepers to make sure that they know, you know, exactly. You train them even on the doors. Absolutely. Wow. That's actually like one of the biggest tasks for training new people is making sure that they understand, you know, where their elephants are going to be moving to, knowing, you know, what areas to check for safety and things right. like that. So it's actually a big responsibility being up on the gates. Good deal. And I love that she's so enthusiastic on the, on the doors, too. <laughs> she's doing a great job. Of... <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's coming through in your actions, I guess, because they're so, coming through in your actions. And now, from the barn, where yeah. he was he was for a little bit this morning, mm -hmm. doing his training, getting his health care, mm -hmm. getting his, his care and wellness needs taken care of, getting his training taken care of, he's now being put back out yes, onto yes. the main so space. Yes, yes. So he is now out on habitat. Um, I love it. And I was going to say, if we wanted to, we can walk up there and uh, you guys can kind of see him walk off into the great beyond nice. and go join the girls out on the habitat. So he's out now. Mm -hmm. So he's actually heading up to our North Habitat where the girls are at this point. So okay. He's got to make his way across a couple acres in this habitat and then he'll get to a few more acres in the other habitat. Wow. And for those of you guys that were looking and watching going, why the barn? This is why the barn. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> you couldn't get hands on out here. You couldn't have that safety protocols that are put in place. And you don't have the space inside the barn. Well, yeah. Because look at this home, look at this habitat. So having a place where they can come that is still so big, Jordan, mm -hmm. to do the care and wellness, to do all that, and to be able to, to know they're coming back out here for the huge chunk of their day. Mm -hmm, definitely. So it's not quite bedroom, rest of the house, mm -hmm. but kind of that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we, we love to see these guys out on the habitat because we sure. really do encourage them to utilize as much of the space as possible. Like I said, they've got, you know, multiple acres on both habitats. And so, um, you know, we spread out their food all across the habitat. <laughs> you know, we'll spread out some of that enrichment out here as well. So, like, whether it's the scents, the extracts, the spices, you know, maybe um, do some, like, popcorn scatters out here, oh, cool. you know, on less windy days. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, these guys, they really get to utilize this really natural habitat. They've got mud wallows out here. They've got grass. They've mm -hmm. got, you know, dirt areas where they'll, again, throw all that dirt and mud all over themselves. Um, and it's just a really, it's a, it's a perfect natural habitat for these guys. They've got a big swimming pool out there, too, so they can be social. They can, you know, engage in their own behaviors. They can, you know, rest. They can play with each other they can do a lot of things that they naturally would do as elephants gotcha and then leslie's been showing you guys i mean look how small he looks now <laughs> and you guys he saw him a few minutes ago there. and look how small he looks yeah. so that just gives you an idea of this space going from the barn into this other amazing habitat mm -hmm. for all the elephants here at the zoo absolutely so jordan we can't thank you enough Hi for all yeah. of this and again thanks to the keepers they were so intent and yeah. we're like i said we're so you saying thanks to them but they, that's a pretty big animal we didn't want to interrupt <laughs> too many things and thank you guys so much for tuning in today it's been awesome to have you with us on this kind of really unique behind the scenes opportunity we have this amazing barn and we don't talk about it as much as we should because this is huge mm -hmm. literally in space mm -hmm. and in purpose absolutely so it's fantastic to be able to share it with you guys today mm -hmm. Uh, your Zoo Adventures team today is so happy you guys were with us. Steve was in front of the camera today. Leslie was doing an amazing Woo! job behind. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you again Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. Remember, we're here all the time with you to visit. Uh, the zoo is open. Time tickets. Make those online reservations and wear the masks. Yes. You see we're both wearing them. <laughs> and this is, we wear the mask. We ask you to wear the mask when you come for our safety, for your safety, and the safety of the animals under our care.
Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I can't find him anymore. He must be on the other side right now. <laughs> Jordan had one last treat for us, guys. Just kidding. Look at this. It's a coconut. And this is already, look how big he is. So the coconut is just a treat? Yeah, yeah. So it's actually trying to help with some of their uh, tooth care as well. So we're trying to make sure that these guys naturally break off a little bit of teeth that they should be. And so that coconut is going to help with that a little bit. Listen to that. Them up to get a little closer. <laughs> Jordan took them up to get a little closer, and Artie was like, What are you holding there? Is that something for me? So that's cool. I mean, it's gotta be kind of neat since she said she had a coconut to share with you. He crunched that coconut in his mouth. Oh, you're awesome, Artie. Thank you so much. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.